Hi, and welcome back. It has been a long time since I've gotten a software update in the Tesla. I don't know what Tesla was doing, but I got a new update. We've got 2022.36.5. We're going to go over everything that's in it, show you how to use it all, and uh, check it all out. So let's turn the camera around right here. Okay, and we're going to go over the update and go over everything that's in it. So the first thing is the energy app. It says, learn more about your vehicle's energy consumption with the updated energy app. You can now monitor the amount of energy used while driving and parked, see how much energy is consumed by different vehicle components, uh, driving behaviors and environmental conditions, view energy used in comparison to trip projection and the battery indicator and receive personalized suggestions. So let's take a look at that. So if I go to energy, let's see what it looks like. So we've got trip, oh, look at this, drive, park, and consumption. So if I hit park, uh, it's, it, okay, well, obviously it hasn't, I just updated, so everything is 0%, but it shows you how much power your preconditioning has used, how much power your screen time has used, your cabin overheat protection, sentry mode, mobile app, summon standby vehicle standby and you can change it for since last charge or since last drive very cool consumption is looks to be the same as what it was and drive shows you looks like it's going to show i mean i don't have any data so we'll have to revisit this but it shows you what your battery condition uses the differences in elevation wow that's cool i like that so if you're driving in hilly area how much that eats up, how much you're using just in driving, oh, versus the projection, so up or down, battery conditioning, and then everything else. Very, very cool. All right, so that's good. So that's all that. Let's go back to the software notes and look at what else we've got. <clears throat> so next, cabin overheat protection. Choose the activation temperature for your cabin overheat protection according to your preferences by tapping controls, safety, so let's do that. So if I go to controls, <clears throat> where is safety? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Cabin overheat protection. Okay, so you can do 90, 95, or 100. That's your choices. I thought it was going to be a slider where you could be more, but this is fine. Uh, I mean, I think this is just fine to keep it, you know, 90, 95, or 100. I'm going to keep it at, oh, wait. Selecting higher temperatures will reduce energy consumption if you pick below 100. I'm going to keep it at 100. Okay, so we've got that. Next, the Tesla app. So in the Tesla app, you can view additional media player details and the ETA to your destination when a route is active. But you have to have app version 4.13.0. I don't know that I have that version. Uh, supercharger additional details. The redesigned supercharger map pop-up will now display historical site occupancy in addition to the associated charging fees when available. To view these details, tap on any supercharger pin that is in the vicinity of your vehicle. Also, we're going to get car left open notifications. Um, so the car will now notify you when the doors have been accidentally left unlocked. And there's support for a new language, uh, Lithuanian. Sveiki, it's called. Uh, also in this app, but not listed here, but I looked it up, we're going to have now dynamic brake lights. So if you're going over 31 miles per hour, um, I don't know if that's going to be listed anywhere. I think it's automatically on. Um, I think it's automatically on. I don't think it's something you have to set. But anything over, um, if you're going over 31 miles per hour and you brake real hard, it will blink and flash your taillights, which is kind of nice. Also, autopilot is now going to disengage when you're nearing a merge ramp, the end of a merge ramp. Um, and another thing in the app, which I actually like, uh, I'm going to have to check the app and I may insert, depending on if I have the right version of the app, I'll insert uh, some, some video of okay. the app. So, um, showing you the new things that are in the app, okay? So, one of them is you get more information about the media, more media. You can control the volume. You see what you're listening to. And if you scroll, 
your navigation now shows you how far away you're navigating to and your ETA. Okay, you can see your ETA in there, uh, right there, 6, 11 p.m. Um, so the other thing is the door latch. So you have to add the door latch command. So you press and hold one that you don't want. You press it, it brings up this menu. Then you take this one here, which is door latch, you drag it up, and then you hit save. So now I have the door latch button, okay? So I'm gonna, and that's how, if you press it, when your door latches are frozen, or if they get frozen, you'll be able to open the door from the outside of the car. So I'm gonna set up another camera and show you exactly how that works. Okay, so if I wanna open the door, all I do is click this, and you see the door opens, and you can grab it just by pushing the door release. So that's how the door latch button works. So we've got a lot of nice features in this update. Um, it looks really good, lots of new stuff. I'm, I'm very happy, I'm happy I finally got an update. It's been such a long while. So yeah, thanks everyone who's for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. Click like, share, um, comment. I answer all comments. Click the uh, bell notification button so you get notified. I've got a lot of cool videos planned. I'm going to be filming some in the next day or two, and I'll be posting them over the course of the next week. So you definitely don't want to miss them. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.